What's up YouTube? In today's video I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me on a shoot and I'm going to do it slightly different to what that I normally do. I'm going to actually walk you through what I'm doing as I do it. This is going to be a series of images all about different famous cuisines around the world and this is going to be the sausage and mash one for the English cuisine. I've already done one for Scotland which was um, haggis, neeps and tatties. If you are not from Scotland you probably have no idea what that is but it's a very traditional Scottish dish and there's also an Italian and an American one coming up as well but I thought this one would be fun to go behind the scenes and you can see exactly how I work when I'm in my studio. First of all we're going for a nice pink background. I've kept this quite far away from the light because I wanted it to be evenly lit. We're going with a hard light for this image, so bright background, hard light, super trendy at the moment, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Some really traditional images with a really modern, trendy um, style. The concept behind this shoot is going to be food on the fog. It's not a new concept, it's been done quite a while, but I thought I'd give it a go myself with some kind of worldly traditional foods. To keep the fork stable, I'm using some blue tack. It's not ideal, a strong clamp would be better, but all the clamp I've got just weren't holding it well enough. One good thing about the blue tack is I've kept it in the same space for all the shoots, so the images should look exactly the same. Same with the light and the camera, it's all staying in the same place, so it's going to give a really nice continuity with the whole series. Just going to use my computer here to take a picture. I'm also, I'm not taking the picture from the camera because that can, again, move the image slightly, which we don't want to do. So I've got my camera tethered to my laptop just here. Um, I'll give you a quick look at that. This is going to make it easier for me to see what's going on because the camera screens are super tiny. And it also means that I can control the camera from the laptop, which means I'm not having to touch the camera, which could move the camera. The lens I'm using for this shoe is a Sigma 105mm macro lens. And I've got it angled upwards towards the fork, which is going to give it that sort of hero, hero image and the macro help lens helps with that as well. I've got two lights set up here because I'm also shooting a little bit of video. So when I'm finished with the still images, I'm going to turn the video light on and get a quick video of just a drip of sauce. Adding video to your shoot is a really good way of kind of keeping on top of trends because reels are crazy. Everybody, brands all want a little bit of video as well as long as they're still images. First thing to do is to get the food ready. And like I said, I've already done one of these and it's not easy to get the mashed potato to stay on the fork. But we're going to give it a go. I'm just going to use the tweezers just to kind of shape it and make it look a little bit more appetising than just a lump of potato. I'm trying my best not to touch the fork because I don't want my fingerprint on it. So I'm just using the tweezers just to fine tune some of the little areas that are maybe missing. I maybe feel like there's a gap. Just to make sure it looks super appetizing. And then before I go ahead and change anything else, I'm just gonna get a quick picture just so I can see how we're going. Perfect. I am a big fan of sausages. So I've let this sausage cool down and just so it doesn't look too dry a little brush with some oil just to kind of give it that nice glisten and that nice hard light will just catch that and bounce right off there. I've got some peas here just to kind of add a bit of colour. I might leave these off, I'm not decided yet. But... So what I've done now is I've just added a few peas in just to kind of build up the image, add that kind of extra element to the dish and it adds a little bit of colour and vibrancy as well. And we've all got to get our vegetables in. I've got the peas, the sausages, the mash all in the right place. The sausage and mash wouldn't be complete without some good old fashioned gravy. So I'm just going to, I'm using a syringe to get the gravy on there just so it can be a little bit more exact, it's a little less messy and I get the nice, the nice drip but I'm pouring it out of a jug 
too much is going to come out too quick. I'm just going to get my computer closer so I can have my hand on the shoot button, ready to go. Take a quick one. Now, <clears throat> now I've just had the video light on and we get a quick drip shot oh, with the video light as well. Okay, um, I'm going to pop some of the final images from the series up here after the video and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you prefer this style of behind the scenes video then let me know in the comments below and I'll sort of do more more like this than me kind of doing something and then talking through it afterwards. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye!